All right, how you doing today? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a way to create arrangements and generate session players really quickly. Get your vibe going, get your song going here in Logic Pro 11. Also, please do check out the channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog here. Lots of Logic Pro 11 stuff, lots of music production stuff, lots of free VST plugins. You can check that out. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. And leave any comments down below if you wish. So let's check this out. So really quickly here, we're gonna do this in speed kind of uh, fashion, if you will. So we're gonna open up our chord track. We're gonna write some chords in. Some quick tips here. Create your chord. It gives you an eight bar loop by default. That drives me crazy. So I'm just gonna make it like that. And then I'm gonna copy this over here. And now I have a four bar chopped up thing. Four bar chords, if you will. Four bar chords. Four chords, if you will. Right now, obviously just four C's, but we're gonna put them in here and we're gonna do an A minor. And then we hit the tab, go to the next chord. We're gonna do E minor seven. And of course we could type these in, we could put them in that way, but you could play them in with the MIDI keyboard. If you hit that right there, the MIDI input. But we're just gonna do this right now like this. And then we got the G, we'll do a G here and hit tab. And then we'll do an F, hit tab or enter. And then we can just quickly copy these, select them all, hit option, drag, and then we have that pattern there. And then we're just gonna copy these over again. And let's do this. Actually, let's delete that one. And then we'll create our B section here, which we'll do, let's see here, where we go, let's go to a C. And then we have that, that will be our, we'll make that a pre-chorus or something. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just grab these here, drag them over, and we're gonna do for the chorus. Now, of course, we can also, actually for the chorus, let's do this. We'll chop these up into smaller blocks. And we'll just, I'll do this off camera. We'll just repeat the process. And another tip here, we can take what we have here and we could group these together group chords, and then you have that one block right like that. But we don't need to do that right now. So now we're gonna just gonna open up the arrangement panel here. We're gonna hit one. That'll be our intro, our verse. Now our, ver our well, they don't give you a pre-course, so we're just gonna, break this down because we only have this part here as four, four measures. So we'll put pre-chorus in here. I don't know why they don't give you a pre-chorus thing in here. It's kind of weird. Rename. Let's we'll put pre. And then we'll do our chorus. And then we'll do a bridge too, which we'll get back to later. We could just ride that C chord out for a bit. Add some tension or something. I don't know. So we're gonna turn this into a verse, and then we have a pre-chorus, and then the bridge. And now we're just gonna select some instruments here. Let's do a drummer, let's do a synth pop for some reason, I don't know why, it doesn't really matter. And that's gonna generate all the different arrangement parts. So we have the verse, pre, chorus, and bridge. And we could do that. And then we could generate a bass part, bass player here, let's pick a pop rock or something. And let's generate a piano freely, sounds good. We have no idea what this sounds like yet and we'll probably need to make some adjustments, but let's go and see what it sounds like. So yeah, we'll make some adjustments and things. We could change the drums around. We could have the bass follow the drums. Actually, let's have the drums follow the bass because the drums get out of hand. And we can select all these at one time. And we can have that follow the track of the bass. Punchy bottom, I believe it's called. 
Get that out of there. Let's see what happens. Maybe turn off some of this percussion stuff. Okay, so pretty interesting. Maybe we could just copy that beat over here too because I like that beat, keep it driving all the way through. But now we could actually take these parts here, hit option, drag, and then we have our verse repeated over here instantly. Do same thing with pre and chorus and things like that. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And of course, do some fine adjusting. You can add in some other instruments, obviously. Put a simple player in here, simple pad. This is great for a simple pad, if you will, but you can also change this instrument. And then when you start writing your top line, you know, you could come up, you could even make the verse part, the chorus part, you could, you know, whatever you do with your top line here. And obviously I would tweak this a lot more and probably actually take this piano out. You could add guitars in, <laughs> you could do whatever you want. Maybe even change the drums, put an acoustic drum kit on here. Who knows? The possibilities are pretty much unlimited. And you could just keep playing around until you find something that you like and even change it after the fact. Let's put a punk rock drummer on here. Do something like that, throw your guitar parts on, and you're good to go. Anyways, that's just a quick way to create some arrangements, spark some ideas, start making some backing tracks, whatever you want to do. And, you know, it doesn't always turn out something cool. You can just do a different one, throw it out, whatever you want to do. Like, I'm probably not going to keep this at all, but <laughs> just a demo here today. All right, that is all for now. I will talk to you soon.